Well, the history of a full body scan goes back uh, to the late 1990s when I realized that all the patients I'm seeing came in there with a prescription from their doctor because they had something wrong with them. And the things that I'd find that were wrong with them were now symptomatic because how they came to the doctor. But there's a long period of time before something becomes symptomatic. Even the most life-threatening diseases or cancers have, a, have a, an asymptomatic period where you don't know you have that problem. And if you wait for symptoms, sometimes it's too late. So I started doing whole body scans based on a CAT scanner, which of course does not have anywhere near the sensitivity or resolution of, a, of an MRI scan. Now I do whole body scans on people that want the most sophisticated checkup. I do a whole body scan using MRI. It includes the brain, the neck, the chest, the abdomen, and the pelvis. For the chest though, we do a CT scan because we need to freeze the motion of the heart, which is beating, and look at the coronary arteries and look at the lungs. So the whole body scan is four MRI scans and one CT scan covering the top of your head down to below your pelvis. Looking for occult diseases, congenital malformations, things we find that you just don't know you have that could be a problem, and things that definitely are a problem now, even though you don't have any symptoms.